Last season in week four, the Patriots became the first team since 2007 to finish a game with negative rushing yards. Minus one to be exact. I mentioned that it was the first negative rushing performance since 2007, a year which featured the worst single game rushing performance of the post-merger era. At the time, the Lions were 6-2, stick with me, sometimes the NFL doesn't add up, and they were looking to make a playoff run after a seven year absence. The Lions lost that game to the Cardinals and six of their last seven games to miss the playoffs completely. In that game, they finished with minus 18 rushing yards, the fewest from any post-merger team. Ironically enough, they also scored a touchdown on the ground, too. So that's post-merger. What about all time? That would be minus 53 rushing yards in 1943. That team was also the Lions, again against the Cardinals. Damn, this isn't good. You want to know what's incredible, though? The Lions won this game. That's right, they won this game. Football was terrible back then. Okay, so there's no film with that game, so let's move on to the worst single game of rushing in the postseason. Incredibly, there's just one playoff game in the NFL's storied history where a team finished with negative rushing yards. You're not going to believe this, but that team was also the Lions. This time, it was against the Packers in the 1994 Wild Card, and despite the existence of Barry Sanders, the Lions finished with minus four rushing yards on the day. I probably know what you're thinking. Do they have the worst single season rushing performance? No. But the 1946 Lions finished second worst, so it's pretty close. Since 1940, the NFL has seen 28 games with negative rushing performances. The Lions have seven games with negative rushing yards, literally accounting for 25% of every such game in NFL history. 